the solar eclipse itself will not be the problem. The problem will be the aftermath of the solar eclipse. Mystery in the sky. We're searching for answers after something shot across the sky. What Michelle did not expect to see was a cylinder-shaped object zipping across her line of sight near LaGuardia Airport. The 2024 solar eclipse, a rare celestial event that captured the attention of millions, has sparked discussions about supernatural occurrences and unexplained phenomena that are believed to have taken place in the aftermath of the eclipse. We had that crazy anomaly coming from Antarctica, allegedly, right? This this huge vortex of energy, this thing in the sky in China, like things are weird. While eclipses are well understood astronomical events, they have historically been associated with myths, legends, and superstitions that have fueled speculation about mysterious happenings. In Peru, this starts happening with the ocean water in Chiang Kai Beach. Up until now, authorities and experts have no idea why the water is boiling in Chiang Kai Beach. I mean, this isn't normal. But is it correlated or is there any connection with these recent events after the eclipse? Today, we embark on a captivating journey to uncover the mysterious and awe-inspiring supernatural phenomena that have been seen after the wake of the 2024 solar eclipse. This celestial event, which captivated the world's attention, has left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness, sparking a flurry of speculation and intrigue. Populous. Hey there, before we dive in, we'd love it if you could support us by liking this video sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to Extra Narrative. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more amazing stories. Following the 2024 solar eclipse, reports of unusual sightings, unexplained lights in the sky, and strange events have emerged, leading some to believe that the eclipse may have triggered supernatural phenomena. These reports have sparked curiosity and debate among those who witnessed or heard about these occurrences, prompting discussions about the intersection of science and the unexplained. Okay, so, look, listen, listen to me. I'm sitting in my house, right? You see me make a video of the somebody or something in the sun? It's a clear day. It's after, it's after uh, April the 8th. After the eclipse, so I'm coming out here to film this one more again. There he is. It's a, a man or something walking in the midst of the sun. You see this. He's right there on top. I'm not moving this camera. He's right there on the top. Hold up. Let me come down and make sure. Make sure I get this as best I can. This is our uh, third time. And as you can see, he's right there on the top, walking in the midst of the sun. This is my third time catching it. One of the most intriguing aspects of the post eclipse supernatural phenomena is the appearance of mysterious lights and objects in the sky. Witnesses have reported seeing strange lights, unidentified flying objects, UFOs, and other unexplained aerial phenomena in the days and weeks following the eclipse. Michelle Reyes was flying over New York City with her daughter, and she was sitting by a window. Um, when she did what a lot of us do, we, you know, take pictures out the window, nice video of the New York skyline. It's an amazing view. But what Michelle did not expect to see was a cylinder-shaped object zipping across her line of sight near LaGuardia Airport. 
Whatever it was, it was definitely outside the plane and it was flying on its own and it was really, really fast. Um, I had posted the video onto my social media and one of the other moms on the flight, um, she said that she had noticed it when she was in the air too. So I wasn't the only one who saw it. So it was kind of, you know, a little more like nerve wracking that someone else also saw what I saw. These sightings have fueled speculation about extraterrestrial activity, government cover-ups, and other paranormal explanations. I find no evidence that she faked this or hoaxed it. Uh, I didn't from the beginning, but we had to run it through, you know, the, the proper, uh, you know, data analysis. And it's there. It's, um, it's very clear, uh, which is unusual. Um, so to me, I feel as though this is probably something not terribly far in the distance, but it also, there's problems with the theory of it being something as simple as an insect. In addition to the sightings, these reports have sparked discussions about its potential influence on people's behavior and the occurrence of negative events. I told y'all the gates to hell had been open and we are being plagued by demonic forces. There was just a mass stabbing on a boat in New York like 15 minutes ago. And this is just one of five mass casualty events in the last week, the last seven days. These are the Russian army, the most powerful military in the world. What are they going to do Iran? Why is President Putin trying to interfere in Iran and Israel conflict? These reports have led to discussions about the eclipse's potential impact on human consciousness, energy fields, and spiritual connections. Furthermore, there have been accounts of strange occurrences in nature, such as unusual animal behavior, unexplained sounds, and other mysterious events that have been linked to the eclipse. According to Taiwan Seismological Center, more than 1,100 aftershocks with a magnitude of over three occurred after the earthquake. These phenomena have added to the intrigue surrounding the eclipse and have sparked interest in exploring the supernatural aspects of this celestial event. Do you guys remember about a week and a half ago, this thing crawled out of the South Antarctic? Well, guess what? It's back. And this time, it's changing all kinds of shapes. Scientists still have no idea what this is, but all we know is this thing is 2,660 miles long, y'all. What is this thing? Check this out. A couple of weeks ago, this strange anomaly that appeared over here deep in the southern Atlantic Ocean. Again, there's something else down here showing significant waves. Once again, we're going to step this forward three hours at a time, go up to 8 a.m. You can see the waves are still there there showing some sort of a disturbance anywhere from 52 feet up to 63 75 feet we're going to step it forward another three hours and you can see this is taking on a different shape it's turning into what looks like a, a giant v to where this last one back on the ninth stayed basically the same shape on its journey from the southern atlantic ocean up towards the southwest coast of africa remaining much like that the entire way this thing here as you're going to see spans out a couple thousand miles and turns into what looks like a giant v here we go still implying a wave disturbance down here in the southern atlantic ocean some christians believe that solar eclipses are a sign of the end times and the coming of christ citing biblical passages like acts 2:20 about the sun turning to darkness. While scientific explanations exist for a few of the phenomena reported after the 2024 solar eclipse, the allure of the supernatural and the unknown continues to captivate the imagination of those who seek to understand the mysteries of the universe. The post-eclipse supernatural phenomena serve as a reminder of the enduring fascination with the unexplained and the profound impact that celestial events can have on human perception and experience. We hope that the information we shared with you was informative and engaging. Please feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Also, if you enjoyed our content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated 
on our future videos. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video.